S and T be a linear transformation from a finite dimensional vector space V to itself such that S of T V equal to zero for all V in vector space V. Then rank T greater than L T S rank T less than L T S. It means if from option A and C, if one is true, then other will be false. Rank S greater than L T of T and rank S less than L T of T. It means from option B and D, if one is true, then other will be false. In all these four options, rank, rank of T, nullity of T, nullity of T, and rank of S, and nullity of S. We will discuss these four points as uh, in four options asked about. As S and T are linear transformation from vector space V to V, and because this is a linear transformation, so it is necessary field must be same for vector space. And also it is given that a finite dimensional vector space, what will happen if it is not given to us? A finite dimensional vector space, normally I write FDVS, finite dimensional vector space. If it is in finite dimensional vector space, then rank plus nullity equal to dimension of vector dimension of vector space v or as a domain this relation or equation will not hold more because if one quantity or one expression is infinity then infinity plus something will come to infinity and we can't say about their inequality because we can't compare two uncertain number, infinity and infinity, which one is greater. Because they are so much large, we can't compare them. So we adopt a symbol, represent uh, these are not comparable. Rank of T and nullity of T and rank of S and nullity of S, we will discuss here. As S is a map and this S send all image of V to zero. This is image, image of T and this is S. This S send all image of T to zero vector. It means image of T means range of T is a subset because this is input for S and all Images of S send is zero, so range of T is null of S or null space of S, and this is based on finite dimension vector space V. So we can say that larger set or superset has greater superset. This is superset greater dimension. And this is subset, so it will have less dimension. So dimension of range T will be less than dimension of null space of S. And dimension of range T is, we normally write rank. Rank of T is less than nullity of S. So option C is true here. Now come to the other option, rank S, as we already discussed, point, rank T is less than nullity of S, and we know rank nullity, rank and nullity equal to dimension of V. If one thing is we know, then other will be fine by subtract from dimension of V minus something either rank or nullity so to obtain a relation minus either minus rank or minus nullity multiply this inequality by negative sign it means rank of t greater than nullity of s and add 
dimension of V both side. So dimension minus of rank T greater than minus of nullity of S and add dimension of V both side and this one is also dimension of V dimension of V minus null S is known as rank of S rank of S and greater than and this one is known as nullity of T so nullity of T is greater than rank of S nullity of T greater than rank of S it means option D is true so C and D are our right choices